Brew and the Little House of Horrors. That's the hallway you've all heard about. <laughs> the, the terrible place that, you know, a lot of bad things happen, but three times a week, apparently, the boys had to meet with Papa Roy <laughs> and check in. And so today we're gonna hear about how Anthony and Joey and Henry and Petey and everybody who had to check in every week and Pete's reaction to walking in this hallway of horrors every week. Um, Cause you just never know. Pete, take it away. Hello everybody. You know, we <laughs> talk about a lot of light side of this lifestyle we live, but there's, there's some dark side too, some scary stuff. Like, like, like Rock said, it's a little house of horrors, you know. <laughs> It was mandatory. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we came to dinner. Not that we minded. It was a beautiful thing. Dinners were always great. Conversation good. It was humorous, you know. Which guys discuss things that, that happen in their future, you know, like General Motors or, you know, all that kind of shit. But walking through that door to that hallway, which is maybe 10, 15 feet long before the kitchen, right? Now there's walls on each side. So you can't see nothing really except that kitchen table. And as you're walking down, you you're saying to yourself, oh boy. As soon as you reach halfway, your, your heart went like from 80 to 120 over. Next thing you're doing like 200. Your heart's going, doo, 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 doo. you can't, you can almost hear it beating. And you're saying, <laughs> and then when you get a little further up, you see like a plastic, even if it was a plastic bag, when you see plastic on the floor, your freaking heart really started beating. <laughs> now you're saying, should I turn around? Then you say, I ain't gonna matter. I'm halfway out, halfway out. I'm gonna get it if it's my turn anyhow. <laughs> well, see, I'd like to say, you know, and I'm sure you all know this if you're familiar with any kind of lifestyle, this is, it's hardly your enemy that ever gets to hurt you because you're always prepared for that. It's always somebody close to you that loves you and you true love and you trust. And the real sad part about it, if they're giving the order, there's no, there's no, no turning back unless they are willing to sacrifice their life for you. You know what I mean? And that's the sad part of this lifestyle. And then you're still going to get it anyway, right? There's going to be a next guy for it, right? Well, at least you know, at least you know, one of your friends did. You know, <laughs> ain't nobody that was looking for you. They got you. But anyhow, once you got past there, then you sat down at that table and dinner started. You could feel your heart beating slow down. And you might be looking at everybody in their eyes, right? Everybody, all of a sudden, it was just like a smile. It was like Thanksgiving dinner for the boys. You know, discuss a little bit, a little bit. Dinner's over. You know, we relax. You know, everybody goes outside, you know, relaxes. Beautiful summer day night, you know, and we lean up against the car, me and Anthony talking bullshit, right? Eh? Joey's hanging out, talking to Henry or whatever, man. And here comes Roy. Oh, Mary Roy, just pop it out the club, you know what I mean? Went out the smile. <laughs> I said, uh oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, what's that about Roy? That guy was a bull. When I say strong, unbelievable. I'm going to tell you one of my stories how strong this guy was. Not now, though. So he come whistling by, happy, he's walking by us, you know, how you doing? Yeah. Everybody's looking at him, okay? As he's coming around, passing, coming up to Anthony and me, I see him put his hand in his mouth and lick his finger. I said, what the fuck is he doing? And as he passes Anthony, all he does is he swipes his nose and keeps going. And then he goes, <laughs> yeah. He looks at Anthony. I said, oh, fuck. And he says, three times a week, you can't be good? Just three times? And he says, says, shit, nobody did, everybody froze. He says, he says, no more, get out of here. He tells us, we leave, you know, but uh, that's the type of guy I was, you know. And he told him, he says, please, I love these guys. Don't don't make me have to do something to any of these, because I never want to. Don't make anybody find out that you're being a little stupid now and then, because I love you. And we try to do that, you know. We respect that, respect each other. But that doesn't mean we want my crazy. You were talking about Chrissy, who when you would see plastic, oh, when you would you see plastic, that. Chrissy used to like to jump uh, out in his underwear, right? Plastic, and you're looking for that little sucker to jump out of the behind the fucking wall with his underwear on, <laughs> like a jack in the box. Uh, yeah, like yeah, like a jack in the box. But boom, but this guy was so meticulous he couldn't stand getting a drop of anything. I mean, I'm talking about a little mud, a little water on, on his suit. You mean, right? So that's yeah, why they would do yeah. the whole one underwear, no, underwear, underwear, he, underwear he, he didn't buy, you know, they were cheap. He was, he was very <laughs> tight like that. <laughs> Everybody loved Chris. And when I say love, they loved the Yeah. Well, you know, he uh, he was a very unique person. <laughs> we'll get a little depth about him 
Because I was so first. first time. So I'm, gonna, I'm talking about the story. I'll just cut that. I'll cut that stuff, right? So we'll just go from here. So you froze up. You got one of the guys that she don't talk. <laughs> so anyhow. <laughs> I've got that okay, so now here we are. We were talking about Chrissy being meticulous and and uh, oh yeah, very 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 very. He was a very clean, organized guy, and this guy could really get a speck out of him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Therefore, on the way he, he would change. He didn't give a shit. But God forbid he had to change his shirt or some bike throw it away. He wasn't about that. He, underwear. He worked in his underwear. So when he jumped out <laughs> underwear, something was going down. He wasn't just playing in his underwear. <laughs> Like I said, we, we all loved each other, you know, but sure. everybody had a little poison in with Chris, you know what I mean? Yeah. He was like the boy's number one son, you know, everybody accepted that. So he always had to prove himself because he wasn't Italian, which was stupid, you know what I mean? If he and he was, wasn't very tough either, right? Right. If you're with us, you're with us, you know what I mean? That's it, you know what I mean? Right. Some guys are, some guys are stone cold killers and some guys are stone cold lovers. And me, I'm stuck somewhere in the middle. <laughs> yeah so you were talking about anthony and joey and henry and oh, and they're different the way they were right you yes. said anthony was like a roman soldier oh soldier man but they all were very unique in their own way right. now, henry henry's the guy who gets out of his car i still put the jacket over his shoulders like that you know that on no tap <laughs> like that very very machiavelli i can right. machiavelli and henry got a lot common right and then you got Joey. Joey was like the lover, you know what I mean? Tough guy, you know? Very, 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 very wild with the women. Which was a cowboy, the cowboy, cowboy, right? He was a cowboy, all right? And then comes my, my favorite, Anthony. Anthony Anthony was the kindest, most gracious, giving guy you ever met. But a little bit, well, but she was crazy too. <laughs> yeah. Anthony, Anthony's one guy you didn't want to make enemies of, that's for sure. Right. Now, did you borrow his uh, Mercedes when he got a brand new 6.3 or something like that? Yes, I always wanted to try one of them. Then the cars were like 160 with like five people in them. So he says, I says, hey, can you start? <laughs> Anthony would give you anything. Yeah, Pete, take the car. I said, Anthony, we're all right with the car? He says, yeah. I said, okay, you know what I mean, right? He says, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, okay. Like, you mean there's no weapons in it or anything? Yeah, right? no, nothing in the car. I'm all right to drive. Just, I want to drive fast, you know? Right. So I, now, I when, but Anthony... Life. You said yeah. when Anthony would walk around, he would rattle. He would rattle sometimes. Yeah. Because he had so many pieces on him. The boy said, shoot up, the fucking guy would rattle. He had that many pieces on him. He looked like Harper Marx. You know what I mean? With that jacket. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He never, he never, knew, he never knew he was pulling proper load out of the sack or something. But anyhow. So I take this car, right? And I said, get on the air. And I, say, I hit this sort of up. It's just lighting up, man. I'm doing about 90. And this guy just starts to come out from the intersection. I thought he was going, well, I slammed on that fucking brake truck. And next thing I heard, I said, what the fuck was that? I turned the lights on the interior. Vials, guns, knives, brass knuckles. I turned that motherfucker out. <laughs> I said, right back in the drive. I said, you said, you're done with it? I said, yeah, I'm going home. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was Anthony. Anthony, wherever you are, you know I love you, but I hope to see you. I heard you got a chance to come home soon. And I pray for you every day, as I do for you, yeah. Joe, and me too. You know? Yeah. I know, I know these guys are saying, why would I wish them guys home as bad as they're supposed to be? Because they weren't as bad as they say they were. They were bad, but not like you think they were. Right. And they never hurt, no, they never hurt nobody. Well, I'm gonna just leave that go. You, you yeah, that. yeah. But the, I think I think the point Pete's trying to make is Roy Roy ran this shit. And if you didn't, if he said jump and you didn't say how high, you weren't gonna be here tomorrow. You're gonna be here for the next couple of minutes. Yeah, you got so, to walk the plank. You got to walk the plank, but there was no plank. That's right. Was you were step, You were dead before you you started saying no. Yeah. When the when the when the letter N came out of you, you were dead. So, you know, Roy yeah. Roy were in a tight ship, and if he said to do something, everybody had to do it. And, and, and you know uh, what? When it comes to Roy Rock, that man never made you do nothing that he wouldn't do himself. Right. If we were going in some place, we had a problem with somebody. He would step us back and open the door himself. I mean, yeah, no, that's good. Tough guy. Tough guy. That's a leader. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess that's enough for tonight. Hey, wait, before we go, show him the Vinny the Chit hat again because we're going to give this away. No, Vincenzo. Hey, Vinny the Chin Giganti's hat. Before I explain this hat, 
I'd like to say something to Mr. Jacanti. I don't know if you're still around, Mr. Jacanti, but you know what? I always had respect for you. I always believed that you were true to the, to the code of honor we live. Right. Oh, and I know you're a sly little fox, Wes. For years, you had to trick. I respect you for one <laughs> Now, this hat, this hat I got like maybe 40 years ago. Now, how yes. I got this hat was through somebody that was affiliated with you. Apparently, it was getting cleaned or fixed or whatever, and uh, it was going to be thrown away. And yeah. I wound up with it. And let me tell you something. I've been in prison 15 years, eight years. I never, I lost everything, but I never lost your hat, Mr. Candy. And here it is. If you That's want right. to practice, you can get, just call my buddy Rock up on YouTube. I'll be glad to bring it to you. I'd love to shake your hand. Yeah, we are going to give this hat to one of our special subscribers and our friends. By the end of this year, somebody special that is on this channel watching us and is a friend of ours is going to have Vinny the Chin Gigantic's hat. Okay? So, Pete, I love you. I missed I the you. shit out of you. I haven't seen you in a while. I'd love to hug your neck, but we got to say goodnight. And uh, I love you guys, all you guys, subscribers, everything you do. Tell your friends. Push the subscribe button. Get us up there. We need to talk about things. Pete's the only real guy left that's out of the joint. And uh, who knows, when Anthony and Joey get out, maybe they'll be here with us. Huh? Uh, I'd love that. You, you, you would think we'd wrap back all over again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have fun. Good night, folks. We love you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. <laughs>